What's going on everyone? Malnox here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some more Genshin Impact. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the trailer for 1.1 coming out soon. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look further into what changes are coming in patch 1.1 for Genshin Impact. We got some reputation system coming, paving the way for a bigger update coming out in December that's going to release an entire new zone and capital city uh, along with a lot of new characters that are going to be joining our potential battlefield if you're new here make sure you guys subscribe make sure you hit the like make sure you ring the bell so you're notified when we upload without further ado let's hop on in to some genshin impact Okay, so this is the trailer for a version 1.1, A New Star Approaches. Take a look. Ghosts are no pathetic babies in this field of futility. And those that come to us live with the same stories. So it is your many days to reconsider. This is the largest one we've seen so far. This guy looks cool. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. All right, so there's definitely some cool new characters coming out with Genshin Impact uh, in that 1.1 trailer that we saw just now. Taking a look a little bit further in to what we might expect from 1.1. So this is slated to come out on November 13th. And again, it's going to pave the way for another update coming later this year on December 23rd. Now that update on December 23rd is what's going to have uh, the new zone and a lot of other really big changes uh, but there's still some exciting stuff coming on the 13th with version 1.1 for us to look forward to so as far as story quests go 1.1 is going to cap off chapter one which is not currently uh capped off and it's going to have a uh, boss fight with chilled who we saw there at the end uh or during the trailer was fighting with the pole arm fighting with uh the bow and arrow as well and uh, he's going to also be a playable character or a uh, unlockable character uh, after the fact uh, and he has some really cool stuff we'll get into him a little bit later and then there's the reputation system and the reputation system uh, it's it's rumored that there's going to be uh, different reputations for each region right now Liyue and Mondstadt and completing uh, the quest there uh, exploring and everything else is going to give you reputation with that area and uh, not only are we going to get material rewards for this but we'll also get some recipes hider skins even character uh, profile cards and there's also some reworks to the inventory systems and different ways to lock items to make sure we don't uh, accidentally spend them sell them and then there's also talks of some different filters being looked at uh, added to our inventory to make it easier to find things there now another thing that's going to be started in 1.1 the first part is going to be a new keybind system. And this is something that I'm really looking forward to. Because since I've started playing this game, I have wanted to be able to bind my elemental burst ability to my mouse buttons to make it a lot easier to access during combat. So 
So I'm really looking forward to the ability to start to rebind some of the keys. A couple other things that are coming out in 1.1 is a new compendium, a better camera option so it doesn't do that slow zoom in. Uh, characters on expeditions can still be used in parties, which is pretty cool. So if they're out on an expedition, you can still use them in a party. They're not just lost out there. Uh, when leveling up characters or weapons, uh, extra experience points will be refunded, which is great. So you don't just, you know, only have one upgrade material left. You spend it, and all of a sudden you're out, you know, 5,000 experience. That's going to get refunded to you. New five-star weapons for a one for each weapon type. Uh, there was a leak. Spoiler alert. Because each weapon will have the same ability. Increase shield strength by 20%. For eight seconds after landing a hit, increase attack by 4%. Max 5 stacks, 0.3 seconds per proc. In addition, when protected by a shield, increase the above attack buff effect by 100%. That's pretty sweet. Uh, gives you uh, increased shield strength, and when you have a shield on you, you're going to get not only 4% increased attack stacking, but 8% attack stacking. Also, they're adding a portable teleporter that you can put anywhere in the world that stays active for one whole week. So you can teleport to a different location uh, that's not a set waypoint or a set uh, teleport beacon. As well as an animal bottle that's going to let you capture wind spirits and release them anywhere to trigger their upward gust you can glide on. So similar to uh, Venti's ability, if you didn't get Venti, it's going to be kind of like a portable version of that. Hotkeys for food items so you can quickly consume food without opening your inventory, which is going to be really nice so you don't have to keep opening the inventory to revive or to eat in the middle of combat. A portable cooking pot so you don't have to run around and go back to town or hope that you find a hillatrail camp with a lit fire there to, uh, to cook on. And some items that make it easier to track down unopened chests as well as animoculi and geoculi. As far as new characters being added, uh, we already talked about Chilled, who is the uh, Hydro bow, bow user who can swap to a melee weapon with his elemental skill. Uh, there's also Zhao, who I think is one of the most anticipated characters being added. He's coming out finally in 1.1. And he's an animal polearm user who transforms into a demonic form that drains his health but boosts all of his other stats. Zhang Li, who we saw in the uh, video as well, and that was the geo polearm user who uses uh, who can shatter geo objects around him or call down a meteor that turns enemies to stone. And then we also saw in the uh, trailer there, uh, Jin Yan and uh, Diona. Jinyan is the pyro claymore user who uses her guitar to set enemies aflame, almost like a bard type. Very cool. And then Diona is a, a cryo bow user who throws cocktails at enemies, damages them over time, and heals allies who stand in the area of effect it creates. So that's cool. Another uh, kind of support bow user. There's also going to be some changes to the resin system. Um, up to 160 resin can be stored at a time, up from 120. And the battle pass quest that rewards you for spending resin is lowered down to 1200 from its current state. There's also some rumors and some leaked patch notes that uh, seem to point to the fact that you're going to be able to store up unused resin so that if you don't log on that day and spend your resin, you don't lose it and it will just roll over and carry over to the next day. There's also going to be a new referral program that can give players primo gems if their friends register a Genshin Impact account and get up to Adventure rank 15. So make sure you bring your friends into Tevat, guys. It's a great place here. We're all friends. We want to have more friends. And if one of your friends has started but hasn't really got into it, uh, it said that if they're under Adventure rank 7, they can still use another player's referral code to get the rewards for that player. There's also going to be two smaller events that will probably take place sometime between 1.1 here on November 13th and 1.2 on December 23rd. Uh, the first one's going to be uh, kind of a, a delivery uh, event where you're going to have to cook certain dishes and then deliver them to people all around Tevat. And the second one is going to put up seven different glider races around Tevat. Uh, you earn Primo Gems for the first one, and for the second one, you're going to earn rewards for either beating a time at each track or by completing uh, and collecting tokens that are found at each track. And that's going to do it for the update coming out, patch 1.1 on the 13th of November. Uh, a lot of stuff to look forward to, a lot of new characters that seem really cool that I'm excited to play with, and then a lot of things leading up to that big patch 1.2 on the 23rd of December that's going to add mind-blowing amounts of content. Absolutely cannot wait for that. Don't forget, guys, we stream every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday on Twitch. 
link is down in the description below discord link is down there as well make sure you hop in there let me know what you want to see next and until next time you guys stay legendary and remember the sun will rise and we will try again peace out